What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, today's video is going to be an absolute banger, guys. We have a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of information to go ahead and discuss about the future of X Defiant here. Of course, if you guys don't want any spoilers, if you don't want to know what's going on in the future with this game, by all means, I would suggest maybe not really watching this video because it's going to be a lot of leaks of future maps, weapons, factions, basically everything that's being introduced into this game. And again, if you wanted to be a surprise, by all means, keep it a surprise. But for everybody who was a little bit curious, let me tell you something. We are in for a freaking treat. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, if you guys want to check out any of my live streams, I'm going to be live today over on Twitch, eh, probably between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And of course, you guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I can't really go ahead and showcase everything when it comes to all this stuff because I do believe it's all data mined, you know? So if I do showcase some of the images and the video clips, all that good stuff, uh, you know, I might catch a copyright strike and I don't want any of that. So if you guys are interested, by all means, I'll have the link to this individual's Twitter account down in the description of this video and you can see all the leaks with your own eyes. Well, not leaks, but you know, all the data mined information with your own eyes. But let me tell you guys something. This content is looking phenomenal. Now, when it comes to the maps, like I said, I can't showcase, but this person did go ahead and post up a bunch of tweets. So I will be showcasing things on screen of, you know, also things like factions and weapons. But the maps look so freaking good. I have to be honest. The style that this game is chasing down when it comes to visuals, the lighting, colors, atmosphere is phenomenal. I really do enjoy it. It's a game that's not taking itself too serious, but it still feels a bit grounded because we are, are in real universes, you know? This is basically, uh, think of like uh, multiverses, but for Ubisoft, right? They're combining all their games into one style of, well, shooter. So it's not a fighting game, obviously, but you know, you guys get the comparison. It's basically Ubisoft's version. They're taking all of their games and cramming it into an FPS game. So, like I said, you can still understand what's going on. Things are realistic enough, but... But they are just going all out with the vibes that this game has to offer. And I really, really, really do enjoy that. They're bringing in the maps from, like, the crew, like, race tracks. They're having a bunch of Far Cry-style maps being introduced. They have, like, a space-themed map. Now, I don't believe it's actually in space, but it looks absolutely good gorgeous. I mean, the list goes on with all the maps that are going to be introduced within this game. And if they flow anything like the maps that we currently have right now, it's going to be great. That's a, that, that is honestly the final deciding factor right there. If the flow is going to be good on the maps, because if the flow is bad, it doesn't matter how good a map can look. It's still going to suck. But I really do have a lot of faith in these developers because it seems like they understand how to design a good arcade style map. But with that being said, let's move on to some of the juicier details here. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here in this Twitter post, all year one factions planned. Assassin's Creed, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, Rainbow Six Siege, obviously the GSG9 unit, and Highwaymen from Far Cry New Dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. I absolutely love, love this lineup. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be a little questionable about how this is going to work, but personally, I I like what they're doing with X Defiant. You know, they never really took this game too serious to even begin with. You know what I'm saying? Whereas Call of Duty, for example, Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, a lot of the time you already played as factions, you played as countries, real groups. So, you know, when the game started branching off and being a bit more wild, it kind of threw people for a twist. But X Defiant, since the day this game dropped, they just wanted it to be a fun arcade shooter. That's it, you know? And ever since the very first day it came out, they had a nice mix of things that were, you know, more realistic and then things that were a little bit more out there when it came to their factions that they introduced into this game and especially their abilities. And with this lineup, I, I see exactly that. 
You know, Assassin's Creed goes Recon, Rainbow Six Siege, Far Cry New Dawn. You know, we have a little bit of a mix of things that, you know, might be like Assassin's Creed, for example. A little out there. But then for the people who wanted to be a bit more like a military shooter, a bit more realistic, you have Ghost Recon and Rainbow Six Siege. They're trying to please all, you know, all people out there. And I respect that. I really appreciate that. And I feel like it's it works pretty nicely in X Defiant. It does. And at the same time, we don't just got the year one factions, you know, data mined here. We have a couple of the year two factions data mined. The crew and rabbits. Now, this one is a little bit more far out. I feel like a lot of people are looking at rabbits and are like, what the heck is going on here? You know what I'm saying? But again, like I just said before, I... I got to be realistic. As long as the game is fun, the gameplay is being fun and they can just find fun, quirky ways to introduce this stuff to make it actually usable and interesting. I'm not that angry, you know, whereas in God, yeah, I can get where the base OG players don't really like where the direction the game is going because it's completely opposite. But this game never launched in a different form than that. So I, I, I'm, I'm very curious to see what they can do here. And on top of that, I love the faction balancing in this game. So I'm really curious to see if they can actually keep that up. You know, I, I want to see if they can really expand on making sure every faction is useful within X Defiant because it already is between the Phantoms, Echelon, you know, all, all these different factions. I know people say it's unbalanced, and I agree. It needs some work, it needs some tweaking, buffs, nerfs. But once it gets polished off, once the developers actually do stuff to, you know, make sure it is balanced, all the abilities, in my opinion, are really solid. You know, not only the counterplay from using the abilities to counter other enemies' abilities, I think that's extremely fun, and it adds a different layer of skill, not only with gun skill, but also being able to counter people, like I said, with your abilities, but at the same time, being able to use those abilities to work with your team. There's so much variety, and these factions, they just meld so nicely. You know, they really do. They everything together just when when you move with a squad and everybody has a different fact not not everybody maining you know uh, fire maining the phantom you know, uh, people actually spreading out having variety picking all of the different factions when you are pushing up on the objective and everybody is just aligning so nicely and putting out their abilities in a perfect form it's such a good fantastic flow and I'm hoping that these new factions can do exactly that. You know, I don't know what the heck the rabbits will do, but maybe, you know, like, for example, the crew, I saw a good comment saying, you know, maybe they'll have an RCXD car. That might be pretty useful. You know, Assassin's Creed, I was talking in my chat with some of the, uh, you know, the viewers. Of course, if you guys are interested in checking out the stream and hanging out with us, and like I said in the beginning of this video, I've got a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. But, you know, we're mentioning, like, maybe for Assassin's Creed, the one ability from, what was it, Black Ops 3, the Ripper, I think it was, where you can, you know, pull out the, the knives in your, you know, basically hidden in your wrist, <laughs> and you can get a little bit of a commando lunge, that would be cool for Assassin's Creed, imagine going up on, like, a the B flag, you have, like, four enemies, and they're, they're using their ults, and you come in with the Assassin's Creed, you know, ability, the ult for that, and you just go and dice everybody up, sneak up on them, and, you know, get the, uh, the jump on them, maybe they could have a dead silence ability as well to be a bit more sneaky get some good flanks for your team you know a lot of these things have potential it, it, they really do so i just hope that the developers give themselves enough time to make sure these you know new factions are going to be introduced correctly and they add to the experience and don't take away from the overall experience but let's move on to the next one here Future weapons, guys. Look at this list here. The L11-5, the LVOA, the Tommy gun. Barely any data, but still, you know, data mine. Found some information about it. The G36 assault rifle, one of the best things ever created. The FAMAS, F-A-L, a bison, and the MG5. Honestly, this lineup is looking pretty dang good. And the best part about X Defiant is that the weapons, again, I know people are going to disagree with me on this, but I don't think that metas are too strict in X Defiant. Yeah, there are some weapons that stand out, but I feel like the best players know how to use their abilities as well, and it doesn't just always boil down to gunplay. So a lot of the times, you can use just whatever you want in this game. LMGs, ARs, SMGs, all of them across the board I use, and I have a blast playing this game using them all. 
And uh, I, you know, I'm just excited for future content because I feel like anything that's introduced is just going to be fun to use because it's not all about the weapon. The weapon just is an, it's an addition to the experience because the gunplay is so fun. But there's so much more to X to find, so many more layers that metas are hard to form. So I'm excited to see what the future is when it comes to more weapons being introduced. And of course, you know, it's another list here of different game modes. Team Elimination, Team Deathmatch. I know people have been really waiting for Team Deathmatch in this game. Don't really know. I mean, I guess I know people don't really like to play OBJ and they want something to kick back on like that. But it's the campiest game. The objective of Team Deathmatch is to get kills and don't die. So guess what people do? They camp so they can get kills and not die. It's so campy. I don't know why people enjoy it so much. But hey, it's coming back. Juggernaut. That's going to be interesting. Bomb Defusal, which is obviously s and Infection. That's going to be fun. We also got Capture the Flag on this list. And then King of the Hill. But... Isn't King of the Hill just hardpoint? Uh, I don't know. Someone explained that to me down in the comments section. But guys, I mean, the future of X Defiant is looking really good. I gotta be honest. I am extremely excited for all this content to come out. And you can't forget, we're gonna have a classic prestige system being introduced. Probably more things to grind. Season 1, once that drops, it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty goaded. So... I'm really excited to see what's in store. Guys, let me know what you guys think about all this content, what you're most excited about. You know, do you think the maps are looking cool? Again, make sure you check out his actual Twitter account because I couldn't showcase the maps. You know, I don't want to get copyright strikes. But of course, all the content is listed on that Twitter account. So by all means, if you want to see it with your own eyes, go ahead and check it out. But as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And guys, if you want to check out my live stream, like I said a couple of times before, I got a link to my Twitch channel down below. But as always, thank you for tuning in. See you all next one. Peace out.